Somebody chart these on. Hey all, welcome back to another video. As y'all can see, I just got out the shower, y'all. And if y'all know me, I am I'm shaking. If y'all watched last video, y'all know why. But um. I'm not a morning showerer. I like to take showers at night, but last night was not a good night for me. The date is February 3rd, and it's 1.42. I'm going to go to a basketball game in my school. Um, honestly, y'all, I have been in, and I mentioned a little bit in the last video, but I have been, like, not in a good place at all. And as soon as I thought, like, something was going to turn around for me, which I know it is, because God works in mysterious ways, so you never know. Like, God is literally the person that says, never let them know your next move. But, anyway, as soon as I feel like things are about to turn around, get better, my mood is going to uplift. It's something just, <sighs> things happen, life happen. It's just like, I don't know, I'm not going to talk too much on it because I don't want to, like, be all sad today. But, somebody taught me, shout out to him, he said... When when something when a situation in your life is going not going how you want it to go, don't let it to affect the other situations that are going a little bit better than that situation. This is not the same analogy that he used, but I'm gonna give you guys an analogy. When there's a rotten apple in a bunch, you don't just sit and let that apple rot the rest of the bunch. You remove it, replace it with a better apple. Things happen, life lives, and I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. I just want to give you. I know you guys like dang. Can she start off on a jolly note? I'm sorry, y'all. I hope all of y'all is good. I hope God is blessing y'all in every aspect of life. Um, but yes, I'm getting ready. I really don't know what today holds. I just know I'm trying to do better with picking up my camera, even if I even if I don't have like plans wrote down and everything, because I'm really trying to like really grow in this YouTube thing. Do y'all do y'all see what Sale and Yanni are doing? They are making, when I say I want to be bigger than YouTube, they are becoming bigger than YouTube. So, <clears throat> Chad, I'm trying to get in that bag, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an intro before I start getting ready. But I'm going to finish doing my skincare routine, and I'm going to pick you guys back up when I'm dressed. All right, y'all. So, I'm ready. I'm going to show y'all the fit. 
I'm on the trash can. Sorry. And don't mind the fan in the back. It is like it is like really hot in here. Like I got the window up, the fan blowing, and it's like hot. Like I'm sweating all my moisturizer off. But it's a white out game. I'm not wearing all white. I don't know. This ain't no wedding. So I got on this white hoodie from Shein. The back got some red stuff on it. And then I got these. These are my favorite pants ever. I had to pull them back out. Got these cargos. I got them from Shein. I think they're a size three. And I got some high top dunks, which I hate high top dunks. These are the only pair of dunks that I have. Like, well, I have some blue ones. Shout out to my cousin for buying them. I like them, but not. I have to wear like pants that's gonna cover the top of them. But yes, here's the fit. Here's what I'm wearing. Nothing too crazy. Not on no bougie stuff, but I got these glasses on because I low key wanna wear them in the building because. My Kai is outside, so let me hurry up. My eyes are really puffy. You guys can't see because this camera is like really good. But I think I'm gonna put on the glasses because you guys can kind of see my eyes are puffy. And when I'm stressed, I pull off my lashes, so you can definitely see that my eyes are puffy. But like I said, Kai is outside, and I don't like waiting, so I don't want to have her waiting. So I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys when I get in the car, or maybe when I get to the game. The sun is doing this big one, so sorry for the lighting for this little bit. But it's it's 350, y'all. Um, I literally did not even I literally stayed like 11 minutes into the first quarter. My head is hurting. I have ate nothing all day. I just literally put six skirts in my mouth. That's the first thing that I ate. So right now I'm on the way to Canes, and I think when I leave Canes, I'm gonna go to the mall because it's like in the same plaza. I really have nothing to get from the mall, but. I'm just not trying to be in my room and all sad and stuff. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do on my way to Canes. I really do not need to be going anywhere, spending any money, but YOLO. Okay, guys, make Canes. I got a three-piece chicken finger combo. I got extra crispy fries, extra crispy chicken. And then this is my first time getting the bread toasted on both sides. So, and somebody said, I'm sorry for this lighting. The sun is going to need to do. Y'all was great. Y'all was good. Let us get this our food. Just name me my way. Amen. I'm going to put y'all over there.
All right, y'all, I can't record much. I can't talk much because they're playing this loud music. If we ask them to cut them off or cut it down, because you can do that, and they said, no, it's against our policy to have the music low. What? But anyways, this is so cute. Skims dupe, and then they got like a little BBL jacket. Y'all, I really want to buy these pants. Like, look how cute they are. Retail therapy? I mean, it always makes me feel better. Don't sleep on Charlotte Rose. Look at this jacket. In the in the leather, don't feel cheap. This is so freaking cute. So is this. Look at, y'all know I'm not a skirt girl, but look at this freaking skirt. Like, hold on. Because I might have to spend a couple of dollars, sis. You like this, Mason? You don't like this? So I'm out of Charlotte Roos. I think I'm gonna go back in there and get something. But they got a JD in this mall and y'all already know I didn't get to get them shoes. And I looked it up on the website and they said they got them at JD. Okay guys, so here's the shoes that I wanted, but they don't have them in the colorway. This is the colorway, but um, these ones are 150 and these ones are 100. I would, I would actually get these, but I, I seen some shoes on Walmart that's the exact same colorway that I'm gonna get. They're cute, so I don't care. But I think I'm gonna ask my mom if I can just get these. Like, these are so freaking cute. And if not these, because these are 150 and I don't wanna overdo it. These are cute too, kinda. But they're not, they don't look better than these. These are so freaking cute. So five in men's and a six and a half in women's. That's why they fit. But it's misleading. So if you look at this box right here, uh -huh. the men's is right here. Five women's is down here. So sometimes when people are reading it, okay. they mix it up. That's perfect. Yeah. Right now we in pink with it. Um, they got a sale right now for five for thirty. I know y'all, the dudes on here. I don't want to see no pennies, but but I think I'm actually because I I need new underwear. These are cute. Is this TMI to show people panties? I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. Somebody tried these on. Had to. But those are kind of cute. 0049. We're going to go for the day, both of you will. So I'll pop up and go to This is good for 20 off 50. Starts at the end of the month. Okay. And then when you come in to use it, you'll also get free gas. Oh, thank you. That's okay. cool. Okay. Nice. $82.03 is your total today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, last store of the night. I've really been store hopping. I didn't pick y'all too much because it wasn't nothing to see. But you guys see where I'm at? My favorite store, and I feel so good. But um, why does Target already have swimsuits out? This is cute. And okay. I love this. They already have some stuff. Okay, Jamaica. I would definitely get this when uh, but when summer come around. It's too cold to be buying a swimsuit. I feel like that should be against the law. I'm talking about it's too cold and got this little bitty thin shein hoodie on. Look at this. They got their Valentine's line out. Okay, raincoat. I don't like when they have little awkward stuff like this. Like, I don't get that. This is my favorite clothing section, the wild fable. Y'all know they got the best. Ooh, look at this crop cardigan. How much is this? Not for $30, no, but this is so cute, y'all. This is the ones that I get. I know these ain't it. This is 14. These are the crop tops that I get. I have all of these colors. Like I said, I didn't come in here for anything specific just looking and if i find something that i like i'm gonna get it and i see some sweatpants that i like but i'm not gonna get them because they're too fine and they got so much glitter on them i should get some money off for all of this glitter being on it these are cute but i don't like how i got all that glitter and i would get black because i don't have any black sweatpants believe it or freaking out but the black doesn't have the flare bottom. The brown, the mm, those, the brown has a square bottom. But it's so much glitter, and I got two pair of brown. And y'all know I'm a brown girl. I never turn down anything brown, but so much glitter on it. I am back home from the mall. Let me tell y'all what time it is. Um, 
it is 908 and I've been here since maybe 840 something but when I tell y'all my goal was not to stay out all day but every time like I lapped that mall that mall is not that big I lapped that mall like six times trying to waste time and trying to find reasons to not come back here and soak in my sadness y'all I'm just trying to find a way to you know make my Self feel better so retail therapy is not what i planned but i'm glad that i decided to i'm gonna show you guys some stuff that i got from the mall i'm gonna first show you guys the shoes actually i'm gonna start off by showing you guys the stuff that i got from bath and body works i really do not like bath and body works like it just i don't know if i had a bath and body works gift card when I was a little girl, I would have went crazy because I was just be like, I'm on every single perfume in here. But they don't smell good. So, I only got two things. And I still got some stuff on that gift card. Um, I got this room spray. It is Calypso Clementine. It smells really good. I will spray this like when I'm finished cleaning up my room. And then I got the body spray of the Calypso Clementine. It smells okay. I think I would put this on, like, when I get out the shower. I wouldn't, like, I mean, I would wear it out, but it wouldn't be the first thing I pick up. So, that's what I got. And there I spent, well, I didn't spend, the gift card spent $15.91. And these, if you guys, I don't know, these videos are pre-recorded, so by the time you guys see this video, the sale is probably over. But these are usually $17.95, but they were on sale for 9 I mean, $5.95, so, period. So, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Victoria's Secret. I don't know. I don't know if this is inappropriate or not. If if so, I promise you I'm not, like, um, advertising anything inappropriate. They're just underwear, right? I'm going to show you guys underwear that I got. Because why not? Um, I got these cute boy shorts. And then I have these. Y'all know I'm, I love a good brown, period. I got these, just some regular old schmiller underwear. I just got them in different colors because it was five for 30. And then, last but never ever least, I hope, okay, I got these. Five for 30, but of course the text brought it up a whole lot of it. Um, they were, how much was it? Thirty-two oh three, and then it came with a freaking gift card. It came with a twenty dollar off, a fifty dollar purchase, and it it starts at the end of the month, and it goes until March fifth. So I am going to use this. I've got to go back to get some bras. So I'm going to go back and get two bras because the two bras be fifty dollars, and they're gonna it's gonna be twenty dollars off. So it's gonna be two bras for thirty dollars. So, period. Let me put this in my wallet so I don't lose it. Oh, I, I did go to Target, as you guys seen. I only got some almond milk out of there because I needed some almond milk. But I got a, I got the Good and Gather brand. And y'all, something that I noticed is that Target's groceries are literally like a dollar less than Kroger groceries. Like, I'm looking at the Uncrustables. I paid, I paid like 5 or $6 for that pack of four Uncrustables last vlog but they were like 456 in target and that panera soup that i showed you guys at kroger it was almost seven dollars and it was only six dollars at um target so i was like maybe i should start coming to target to grocery shop you already know i'm a target hygiene girly everything else but i thought it would be expensive to grocery shop there but it's looking like it's cheaper than um kroger so that's what i got from target i already put it in my refrigerator of course Last but not least, I promise you guys, I was ex I was thinking like, am I spoiled? But I honestly promise you, I don't ask my parents. I don't ask my mom for much. So I feel like when I do ask, it's like, why not? Because I don't ask for much. And I, I literally, like my mom just bought me an iPad, a camera. She did her big one for Christmas. So like when I asked her for shoes, I didn't expect for her to be like, sure. So... When she said, okay, you have a budget, I didn't get, you know, I understand. I just got all the stuff. Christmas and my birthday just passed. She gave me some money for my birthday, and she did all of that for Christmas. So, I don't know. Shout out to my mom. You're the best. I literally appreciate you so much. I thank you for all that you do. 
Um, I know you think I'm spoiled. I'm not. I really, I'm not. I am just very, I don't know. I like nice things. That's how I know I'm supposed to be rich. And I know everybody said that, but I know that I'm supposed to have some money on me because I like nice things and I like giving people things. And I like giving people nice things, so... It's all in the works. God got me. But I'm scared. I'm, I'm, um, I'm rambling because I'm excited. I got my first pair of New Balances. Guys, oh my gosh. They're so freaking cute. They're so cute. I want to do it. I might do an unbox on my TikTok. Should I make y'all wait and see on my TikTok? No. I'm going to show y'all here. So let's. I hope y'all can see the glory that these shoes bring. Oh my freaking goodness. Are y'all getting this? Oh my gosh. These shoes are so freaking cute. And y'all, when my mama sent them, again, shout out to my mama. She texted me like an hour and a half later and she was like, do you like the shoes? And I was like, yeah. She didn't text back. But then I got a notification from Cash App and it said, Yanika sent. I'm like, oh. Shout out to my mama. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And they go so cute with the little pretty little thing outfit that I got. And I love them so freaking much. So yes, that is how my retail therapy went. I'm so excited that I got those shoes. If anything, I'm so excited that I got some more undergarments because that's always needed. And then that I got some more shoes. But, um... I think I'm going to end this video because I don't plan on doing anything else tonight but writing my essay that is due Tuesday that I only have a half a paragraph and it is a five page essay and it's doing like three days so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do not forget to thumbs up follow all of my social medias that will be down below and yeah y'all take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of the people around you the people that you love Take care of them. Show, tell them that you love them. Show them that you love them because you don't know what else they're going through and you don't know what you might say or do that might push them to something else. So last but never ever least, do not forget to thank God for waking you up this morning. That's the most important thing that you should be doing each and every day. Never skip, a gate, never skip a day of thanking God, giving God his glory, giving God his praise because if it had not been, you already know we would not be. So make sure y'all thanking God for waking y'all up and thanking God for allowing y'all to get through y'all day. With all that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.